The basic formula that's been around forever is rand. All you do is equals rand, close it, and it will give you a decimal value between zero and one every time. And every time you recalculate the formula, you get a different value. Now, this value is good because it has so many decimal points that you can kind of transform it into any shape that you want it to be in. So here's an example. The rand formula that we see here adds some additional math, basically, so that you can choose what the lowest value is going to be and what the highest value is going to be. Because here it's just assuming zero and one. What if you want different? What if you want an upper of 10 and a lower of one? Well, that can work. You just have to go and create a formula. So rand times the upper, which is F6, minus D6, close that, plus the lower bound, which is D6, and there you go. Another benefit of the rand function is you can always click this and then click number and choose the number of decimal places you have. So it's really up to you the degree of precision that you have here. You have flexibility.